Hi, this is David Harper of Bionic Turtle with an illustration of how a futures contract can be used to hedge the cost of a commodity. I'm going to use copper futures as an example. And copper futures happen to trade on NYMEX where a single contract is for 25,000 pounds. Part of what we mean by a futures contract is that the specifications of that contract are standardized. This allows for buyers and sellers to know exactly what they're getting, which contributes to greater liquidity in the futures market. So we know that a single contract is for 25,000 pounds of copper. Let's imagine a company like a computer maker that uses copper on an ongoing basis to make its products. And so this computer maker must, must purchase copper every year and therefore the price of copper impacts the bottom line of the computer maker because this copper becomes part of its this price of copper becomes part of its cost of goods sold. Okay so I've got a few numbers here that are artificially inflated to keep the example simple so these prices aren't quite accurate they're a little higher than we currently see but let's imagine that the current spot price of copper is four dollars and that also we observe on the futures market the company has the option available to it to enter into a futures contract for three dollars and eighty cents and that would be an agreement to either buy or sell one contract or however many contracts of copper in the future let's say one year out at three dollars and eighty cents so that's also represented here graphically the spot price of copper in green is four dollars and the price of a futures contract in copper one year forward so that would be May of 2009 if we want to enter into that we can we can commit we can get a guaranteed price of three dollars and eighty cents but again that's forward in time one year okay so now let's consider two scenarios first the unhedged scenario and let's just keep it simple and assume the company expects to need to purchase 25,000 pounds of copper in one year now if the company does not hedge and let's say the spot price here indicated in green increases to four dollars and twenty cents then the company will need to purchase twenty five thousand pounds of copper at four dollars and twenty cents per pound for a total cost of hundred and five thousand dollars now let's assume a hedge scenario so we'll go back in time to the present here we are back at May 2008 and the company now foresees or somehow predicts that the price of its commodity input copper is going to be increasing and it wants to hedge against that what it can do is enter into a long hedge and in this case that would be to go long one futures contract or agree to purchase one contract at the futures price of three dollars and eighty cents now what happens let's go forward again in time let's say the spot price increases to 420 the other thing that should happen here the blue is the futures price as we go forward in time the futures contract is approaching its expiration as the futures price approaches its expiration the futures price should converge to the spot price or at least should converge to a zone it needs to do that because if there's as this contract approaches expiration if there's a gap there's going to be an arbitrage opportunity never mind that currently in some commodity markets this uh, truism is being violated however in our example then the futures price of three dollars and eighty is going to converge to the four dollars and twenty spot price now what happens to the hedged position this is where the company entered into a single futures contract to purchase copper at the three dollars and eighty cents okay there's two parts to the transaction now 
as we as we go forward in time to May 2009, the spot price increased to 420, and the company does still need to purchase the 25,000 pounds of copper for again a total cost of $105,000. However, it also has the single futures contract that because the futures price converges to the spot the company is going to make a profit on the futures contract in this case of 40 cents per pound that's because at the time it entered the contract the futures price was 380 that futures price converged to the spot over the year and therefore see there's a 40 cent profit per pound on the futures contract 420 minus 380 is 40 cents that single contract is for 25,000 pounds 40 cents multiplied by the 25,000 pounds is a futures gain of ten thousand dollars so therefore in the hedged position the company still had to pay hundred and five thousand dollars on the spot market for that commodity that it needs however because it entered long it took a long position in the futures contract it's part of a long hedge for the company it made a profit of ten thousand dollars on the future and so the net cost to the company is ninety five thousand dollars so the reason this is a hedge is that this is going to be the net cost to the company regardless of the scenario notice here let me be extreme and say that price of copper really jumps up to four dollars and fifty cents so here I go here I could even move these up a little now the unhedged position twenty five thousand pounds of copper would cost even more a hundred twelve thousand dollars and hundred twelve thousand five hundred dollars however notice because the spot price went up this convergence is going to create this time an even greater profit on the futures contract of seventy cents per pound for a total futures gain of seventeen thousand five hundred which again offsets the cost of the commodity and the net cost of the company 112500 minus 17500 profit on the futures is again the same number $95,000 so under these set of simplistic assumptions it doesn't matter what happens because the increase in the cost of the commodity on the spot market is going to be offset in this case on a one-to-one -one basis by a profit in the futures contract and just to show you it works both ways the whole hedge was entered because the company foresaw an increase in the commodity however the commodity could also go down in price and I could draw these I could imagine you could imagine these graphics going down to 350 in which case well I didn't do a good job of that in which case the cost of the underlying commodity is only going to be eighty seven thousand five hundred dollars so if the company was wrong about predicting that the spot price was increased they actually would have been better off to stay unhedged because if they if you look at their hedge what happens in this case is that there's still going to be this convergence so the futures price is going to decrease from three dollars and eighty cents to three dollars and fifty cents in other words in this case a thirty cent per pound loss on the futures contract which creates a total loss of seven thousand five hundred dollars for a net cost of the eighty seven five hundred lower cost in the commodity but also a loss on the futures contract and you'll notice look at this again net cost of the company is the same exact number ninety five thousand dollars and so this kind of perfect hedge produced a, the same net cost regardless of what happens to the spot price so this is an example of using the futures contract albeit with some simplifying assumptions to where a producer can hedge its commodities cost this is David Harper the Bionic Turtle thanks for your time